How do you find the balance in being driven to improve, to be the best rider that you can be, to always be learning more, but at the same time to enjoy each moment with your horse? If we're constantly pressuring ourselves to do better, if we're always thinking forward to what we wish that we could do or how we want to be riding, we can lose all of the little moments. We lose the time that the horse made that silly face. We lose the awkward yet thrilling jump. And we forget about the few moments in the ride that actually went really, really well. But on the other hand, if we don't want to improve, and if we don't sometimes pressure ourselves and push ourselves to do better, we can also miss out on the growth and the learning that can come from that striving. I'm Callie, you're watching the weekly video show here. And today I wanna to give an example of how we can find the balance between the two, of wanting to be better and also of really enjoying each moment and being really content with the level that we're at now. Together, let's work on an example of how you can find this balance. So let's take an example of wanting to improve the canner. We're gonna go through three steps in this just to help you remember each part of it. The first one, think about holding a vision of what you want that canter transition to feel like. Maybe you wanna feel more secure and strong in the saddle. You wanna feel confident as your horse goes forward into the canter. Maybe you're looking to improve the movement of your horse. You want them to round up into it more, uh, to go more easily into canter, be more responsive to the cue, pick up the correct lead. But really think about what's that vision? What would it feel like to have a good canter transition? And then for the second piece, what can you be really grateful for in your riding today? It could be connected to something with the canter. It might be that your horse is getting a really good rhythm and cadence in the trot. It might be that your horse is actually picking up the canter um, more quickly and easily than he was a few weeks ago. But think about something in your riding that just gives you, um, gives you joy, that brings a smile to your face each time. So really those moments that you enjoy a lot. And then for the third part, as you're riding, take each day as it comes. So don't try to compare your ride today and how it's going with how yesterday's ride went or where you think you should be, but just take every day as an individual that you're holding that vision for um, what you want to feel, but at the same time, you're um, also enjoying each moment of it. It's certainly not an easy task but finding this balance between striving for improvement and yet completely enjoying where you are is perhaps one of our greatest lessons that horses and riding can teach us. Now I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below and tell us how you will find more of this balance. Which do you need a little bit more of? Is it more of that striving or is it more of enjoying the moment? Also, we have a workshop coming up with Jenna Knudsen, Equestrian Life Coach. My philosophy, how I do my coaching is a tiny bit different. Um, instead of just setting a goal and then striving for that goal, I work backwards. So we set your belief that you are a confident, fit athlete. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we work the process. And what that does is it allows you flexibility. Like you're already that person, you own that title. If you own the belief, you're way more likely to stay the course. And so I like to help people stay the course, and that's a method that works. We'll be talking about more of just this, how to set goals and really reach for those big goals while not losing track of where you are and still being able to really enjoy every step of this journey with your horse. So enjoy the ride. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.